Uppercut, uppercut. Sonic Boom! This is the Type 57 Mecha, and the series of great credit grinding tanks I'm doing in Tier 8, like that series, you should, because it's a good series. Um, go and subscribe to this channel, you grubs, you dirty big grubs. If, if you like that, then this is it. We're going to be a little bit passive here. Uh, I don't think we have a lot of options. There's multiple angles here. Not many heavies can hold multiple angles. It's damn sure. It needs them, really. Uh, so, why am I doing a video on this? Because it's not the strongest tank in the team. What I think it is, is a good all-round heavy that gets often overlooked. And one of the most influential things you can do as a tanker at tier 8, when you're both trying to earn credits and good games is to drive a heavy tank drive a strong, like a heavy tank strong. um they've got here yeah, finally here. i don't want to be here is two shielded trust me on this this is not an intentional thing on my part i just don't have a lot of options i've only just turned up here and we've got one afk so yeah Go through. Fucking next to the buddy. We didn't penetrate their armor. Let's try and help out here, but fuck the odds. He's alive! Come on, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna start moving up here on the left. Try and side spread. We've lost the best option. Oh, shit. That one didn't go really? through. Really? We nailed them back. You're what? Fuck. 
Bird is still uh, loitering up the top. This guy was AFK forever, but kind of lucky he came back. It might have been a different story. It uh, seemed to do better than my Patriot Polish brick. Anyway, where the hell was I? I just got confused and I stopped talking about the tank. It was interesting. Aim? Not necessary. I need to aim. Tank. Strong tank. It's only about 3k there, I think. Um, 3k now with absolutely no credit modifiers going on. Um, that's a first class, 3k, and we got 100... 15,000 credits in return. That's a pretty clear indicator that this is a solid tank in terms of picking up damage. So we're going to have another game. We're going to have another game in the 57 and then we're going to have a little break and we're going to have a look at stats. Uh, I'm not going to compare it to all tier 8 heavy tanks. Oh my god. There are so many tier 8 premium heavy tanks and so many tier 8 premium medium tanks I wasn't even paying attention when Gone Town this is against all that I hold dear it is Gone Town oh dear let's just hope that they've done the same thing I am very sorry to Two. It's trying to drag one out. That's fine, mate. Yeah, that'll do it for me. So, what it has going for it is pretty much. Same as a lot of other heavy tanks, with some notable exceptions. The actual tank itself, oh my god, what the hell is that SU doing down there? Alright, sure, cool. I mean, that's a dumb, dumb place for an SU to be. Smash a rasher. Too late. I apologize to all who were uh, up top. I should have gone up top. Go up top. It's got what a lot of other heavy tanks have. It's got a, a base 1800. I'm running the extra uh, hit points. I think they're pretty important on the tank this tier. Wow. The Egg Panther. Uh, really made a bit of a meal of that one. Try and cross here. Let's support this 25. Why is he pushing? I can support you or you can die, but I can't really stop both those things from happening. I would love to know where that shot went. Again, that was exciting. Corey too wants to get up there and use the camo. Woofy heavy, and these guys just aren't gonna come down. They're assholes. I don't know what this guy's waiting for. Good job. I mean, congratulations. You are 
Didn't push. Certainly didn't win. Let's have a look at some of the numbers and we'll we'll break down exactly what I love about this. That's two games of 3,000 plus. Did get an ammo rack in there, which is nice. And only 75 pounds. Obviously, a lot of that damage was spotted damage. Um, oh, not four kills. That's what we'll get. Let's have a quick look here. We'll, uh, we'll go over here to Red Stars. Here we go. I've selected some smattering of you know it's not it's not exactly the be all and end all of tier 8 premium tanks but it's got a lot of the the all stars in there um the skoda the t77 the lerva and the object 252u they're some of the most common heavies you're going to find and the thing that stands out straight away is the gun on the type 57 uh, you can see here under caliber, you have a 127 millimeter gun. Now, that on its own wouldn't say anything to you, but it means you get a 430 alpha shell. It's why my three favorite heavies to drive are these three here, the 57, the 56, and the T77. And if we go all the way down to the bottom, you can see that their average win rate is 57%, 55%, and 54%. Now, there are other tanks that win just as much. The 54.83 over here by the 252U, and I haven't included every tank in here. But the reason I've included these three is they actually play quite a similar style of football. The T57 and the Skoda both have really big alpha guns to deliver, a big dose of alpha, and then you back off and you reload. And you reload is 13.48 seconds over here, 14 there. But the T77 is the same. It only has 380 alpha because it only has a 120 millimeter caliber gun. But that 380 alpha is delivered in two shots. And then it takes a 19 second reload. And that's why it's so crazy strong. That's over 700 damage. Um, in fact, it's 760 damage, uh, which is a lot of damages. And then a 20 second reload. So You've got a five, an extra five seconds to reload. What that means is a 77 is a better offensive tank than the Type 57 Heavy. It's better at pushing forward and dumping nearly 800 damage into a target and possibly clearing it, but it's much worse at holding uh, because if you get pushed, the reload on that tank is so long that if you're facing multiple targets, they will swarm you. Uh, it's not like it's not going to happen to you in the 57 Heavy either. It's just that your damage is delivered in a different way. You also have a stronger armor profile in the Type 57 Heavy. Uh, you are basically looking at a tank that is very, very tough to pan hull down. You're looking at a, a very vanilla traditional tank, strong turret, big alpha. There were tanks that had super strong turrets uh, in the past, and Wargaming always legislated that super strong turret by giving it other stuff that really sucked, like the T-32 that you can see here. It's been buffed a number of times, and it's got an insanely strong turret. I loved that tank. Right? I loved that tank. But it's it's got an ass gun. Like the gun's alpha is 310 alpha, and... The penetration, it's been buffed now. It's 218 and you've got 265. The Type 57 Heavy has heat, so you don't get normalization. The, the kind of gun you really want, like a T-34 Independence, for instance, 248 millimeters, but look at the pen on the T-34 Independence's, or the T-34's Pramo, 297 millimeters. But it's got a, it's got a, a much weaker lower chassis than the Type 57. Um, in terms of top speed, your Type 57 Heavy is right around there. They're all about 1,800 hit points. Where's the hit points? Down the bottom here, 1,800, 1,800, 1,800. 1,750 for the T77. Wargaming takes away a little bit for having uh, so much damage on your, your dump. Uh, the other thing is none of them are really snipers. That's not what they're built for. It's not what they're meant to do. You do have nine degrees of gun depression. With this turret and nine degrees of gun depression, you are a wonderful hold tank. I think we saw that on that Winter Melon Opka map. 
And you've got just your stock standard. It's not down here, but I'm pretty sure the credit coefficient is about 170%. It's nothing to write home about. It is literally just good fodder. You know, good fodder. We'll have one more game in it and then call it a night. We'll do some more videos uh, on great credit earners. This is for me just such a strong credit earner. The gun, the turret, the gun depression, big hit point pool, running the extra hit point buff, uh, and just solid all round. You end up with a tank that can compete with some of the better premium, uh, better tech tree tanks like that Tiger Two there. Uh, it's it's not OP. It's not really about being OP at this tier at certain with certain heavy tanks. It's more about being able to do the job, hold the line, push through. Uh, Walton, Nuke. And that's what the Type 57 can do. IS3 Defender, my goodness. Once upon a time, what a monster. He's got a weak point on the plates at the front. Well, I oh, I accidentally switched to heat. I switched to heat, so all I did was track him. Ah, uh, noob. We're going to get pushed here. We have to get pushed. What I should have done. Yeah, they've stacked this side. I can't really push there while that IS-3 is holding. Got to help this tiger with this Skoda, or this is going to fall. Yeah, we had to get rid of a tank pretty quick. Even if the tiger could just take some damage off that IS-3 Defender, that'd be good. We can't one-shot this guy, so we're just going to try and get a shot on top of his turret. Then one more squeeze. Come on, hold, tiger. Hold, baby. Hold. Old little tiger. That's it, boys. That's it. Oh, my bad. Shout tiger. I'll take it. Hey. Sorry, I was trying to get around there to do it. Take a bit of damage. Oh, our eyes too shielded. He's uh, woken up. Good on him. What a great guy. It's just a strong tank. It's just strong. It's just such a strong tank. Your turret, the caliber, enough hit points. You can hold the line, and if you play smart, you can make credits. And when you've got a heavy, they're better for trading. Like, you, you literally want to be a tank that trades, and having more hit points allows you to take more damage, and that allows you to have more opportunity to do damage and earn credits. That's what we're doing here today. Straightforward game. Another one over 2k. Solid.com.